Hey folks, how's it going? Here's a quick video on how to change the rear brake pads of a VW Tiguan without using an electronic scan tool to retract the emergency brake, emergency parking brake or EPB. So here it is. It's going to be kind of quick, but uh, hopefully you'll save a bunch of money just like I did. Okay, just like any other brake job, you're going to remove the spring here on the uh, caliper. You're going to remove the plastic caps for the slider bolts you're gonna take those caps off and remove those bolts or disconnect them all the way here then you'll be able to slide the caliper off okay pry the caps off two plastic caps off they're just little caps easy peasy you can pop them out with your fingernail here's another one so get those two caps off for the caliper bolts then we're just going to use a seven millimeter hex for the caliper bolts the slider bolts and uh, get on those. The top one is going to be a little tough to get to because you're going to probably have to use a little extension, but the uh, hydraulic hose, you're going to have to move out of the way. It's just kind of in the way, but uh, you're going to probably have to use a little extension, about a four inch extension, um, get you going. Here we go. And what I do is I I'll take these out, clean them up, put a little grease on them, put them back in. So I take them out all the way instead of just doing a, uh, leaving them in there. Just make sure that they're in good shape, no rust on them. This is top taking the this is taking the top one out. You can see I have a little got a little extension here, about a three-inch extension. So you're just gonna have to move things out of the way. The bottom one, bottom one's real easy, it came straight out. You can pop the retaining spring off with just a screwdriver. Just kind of get that out of the way. Boom, falls right out. Easy peasy. And uh, normally when you get brake, new brake pads, you'll get a new one of these things. But uh, if this is in good shape, you can reuse it. These OEMs are actually a little bit stronger than what you get in the uh, brake kits. Now just take the caliper off. It should slide off pretty easy. Boom, no problem. And the pads, our pads on this side aren't too bad. The other pads on the other side went right down to the brake disc and wiped the brake disc. So these are pretty good. We'll actually put new pads on, but we won't have to change out the disc, so you can see it's not quite to the edge, but it's it's right there. I would say we got our money out of these. Now what we have to do is we have to, we can't just put a C-clamp on this and retract this. What we have to do is we have to, um, we can't just push it in because the emergency parking brake here is got a motor and it's got a little shaft that it drives so we're going to take this off to uh get that off and what we're going to be using there is a couple of is going to be using a um what we're going to be using there is a five millimeter hex to take off the two housing screws or bolts you want to call it and what you'll see that is that where the housing is you'll see one here we're here over here on this side and then try to turn this thing around we can get to it um there's one here one here and then one on the other side over here so okay i got the two hex bolts that hold the parking brake module in got those removed put those down and now you just have to get in here and pry it apart you may have to get in here with a little bit of a screwdriver and give it a nudge because there's an o-ring and whatnot but it should pop off fairly easy it work be careful because I believe this is a plastic housing. When you pop the module off, what you're going to see is a shaft. It might be this, it might be an Indian, an Audi, or whatever, but you're going to see the shaft. This is the solenoid, and it basically is a motor, a gear drive motor. So what we're going to do on this is, uh, or what the gear drive motor, the gear drive motor drives this shaft here. So what we're going to do on that is screw it in clockwise. Let's Again, we get the wrench here. And just screw it in clockwise till it stops. Boom, that's it. That's it. You don't have to do any super, super uh, human stuff. Just get it to where it bottoms out. Now that shaft is all the way back here, is uh, squeezed up. So now you can just take a C clamp and push your, your uh, piston back.
you can see the piston goes in nice and neatly. So we'll get that till all of the little rubber, um, all the little rubber dealies get lined up. No, no need to go any farther than that. That should be plenty. Okay, take the C-clamp out of there. Now we're gonna take our pads. Now we'll take our pads and put the pads in. The pad with a little butterfly clip here that goes on the inboard side. The other pad goes on the upboard side. It doesn't have any clip. Boom. And now the caliper. I'm doing this one handed. Sorry, guys. Yeah, the caliper will fit on fine. So now, before you get crazy, put your parking brake uh, module back on. Just screw it back on. Clean this area here. There's an O-ring. If you need to, put a little grease on it. If there's not grease here, put a little grease on there. But get that all nice, squeaky clean. And then just screw it back together, and you're ready to get this thing screwed on. Okay, we've got the module screwed back on. Now, you may have to, if the module doesn't line up just exactly easily, you may have to, the little shaft, you may have to re, um, unscrew it, just a quarter turn or whatever, whatever it takes to engage the little motor in here. But just, uh, just to get your bolts lined up, shouldn't take any force at all. You just have to play with it a little bit. Anyway, we've got our new pads in, ready to go. And this thing should just slide right on. Let's see how it goes. Boom. Easy to, easy peasy. We're going to take our pins, put a little grease on those, get those cleaned up, make sure they're good, put them in, and it should be a deal. Okay, we've got our two guide pin or a caliper pin, slide pin, whatever you call it. We've got those all done, and then we'll uh, keep the crud out. We'll make sure we put the plastic caps back on. So that's it. That should be it for the brakes. And be safe. We're using this jack here. If you also notice, we've got another jack out over there. Jack stand. So uh, keeping everything everything in the safe. We'll put the spring on. And that's actually pretty simple to do. Just kind of get it in the little holes here. And uh, it'll go in down in the holes. I'm doing this one-handed. But anyway, it'll go down the holes that rest on the outside here. If you have any questions... Take a picture of it before you take things apart, and then you'll know exactly how it sits. But these holes are actually at a little bit of an angle, and it's kind of hard to put it in one-handed. There's the clip all in. I reused the old one. Uh, again, we don't have a lot of corrosion here, so ours is in real good shape. But rest here, rest here. keeps everything tight. So that's the installation of the spring. Anyway, that's it. Um, emergency parking brake, quick and dirty. You don't need $150, $200, scan tool. You just have to do it manually. When you get back in the car, you're going to set the brake and reset it. Uh, you might get a flashing light, and then you'll just have to step on the brake and reset it going into gear and park. But it should be all safe. That's it. Hang on, rats out.